So we are given a program in C language and our task is to write a program in Java which performs the same logic. So here first we are creating two character arrays named words and str and then we are creating three integer variables named row count, sum and index. So the value of all the three integer variables is zero initially and then we are creating a while loop and inside the condition we are putting the scanf statement. So what happens is the scanf function returns 1 whenever a input is received and if no input is received then it returns 0. So when we put the scanf statement inside the condition of while loop until we are going to accept all the input this while loop will be iterating and after accepting all the input there will be no more input to receive. So in those cases the scanf will return 0. So when scanf returns 0 automatically we will come out of this while loop. So this is how we will make use of the while loop and the scanf statement when we don't know how many lines of input will be given to us. And whenever input is received we will enter into this while loop. So let us see what we are doing inside the while loop. So first the row count integer variable is incremented by 1. And after that a if else condition is performed. So the if condition is and operation is performed between the row count and the integer 1. So if this expression returns 1 then we will enter into the if block else we will move to the else block. So within the if condition we are making use of the sprinter function. So we will make use of the sprinter function when we need to concatenate two or more different data types and store it into a single character array. So using sprinter function we can concatenate two or more integers or an integer and a character array. So we can concatenate both and store it into a single character array. So this is when we will make use of the sprinter function. So here what we are doing is we are just storing the character array str into the character array named words. But here we are given words plus index. So what happens is the character array str will be stored into the words but it will be stored from the value of that particular index. So that is how it will be working when we use words plus index. And also we are performing index plus is equal to sprintf. We are doing this because in the first iteration the value of index will be 0 and the words character array will also be empty. So the character array str can be directly stored into the words. But in the next iteration if another character array str is going to be added into the words then it should not disturb the already present contents in the words. So it should start storing from the next index. So that is why we are adding index with sprintf because the sprintf function returns the total number of characters present in the words. So if already three characters are present then the sprintf function returns three. So now the index value will be three. So now the character str will be stored from the index three. So that is the reason why we are adding index with sprintf function and in the else block we are just converting the character array into an integer using the atai function and we are adding it with the sum variable. So these are the only two operations we are performing within the while loop. So either we concatenate the str with words or we convert the str into an integer and we add it with the sum variable. So finally after the execution of this while loop we will be printing the character array words and the integer variable sum. So let us see a sample test case. So for example let us assume this is our input. So here we have 6 lines of input. So in the first line we have a string and then we have an integer and again we have a string and then an integer and then again we have a string and the integer. So string integer string integer like that a pattern is being followed. So what happens is all the string values will be concatenated. So here the string values are hi hello and world. So these string values will be concatenated and it will be printed in the first line of our output. So we, are, we can see that we are printing hi hello world. And then the integer variables will be added and the sum will be printed. So the integer variables are 10, 20 and 30. So the sum is 30 plus 20 is 50 and then plus 10 60. So in our output we are printing 60. So this is how we are getting our output. So this is how the given C program works. So now our task is to implement a Java program for this. So first I am importing the java.util and then 
we have to create a class named hello so in skill rack always we have to have the class name as hello so i'm creating a class named as hello and then we are creating the main function so public static void main and then string arguments so within this we have to start implementing our logic so first i'm creating a scanner object named sc and then i'm creating two integer variables row count and sum so i'm setting both of the values to zero so here i am not creating the index variable because without using that itself we can solve this problem and also we had a character array named words in the given c program but here i am not creating any string because without using that itself again we can solve that problem also so now i am going to create a while loop so in java we have a method called has next line so if there is a input present in next line then this method returns true else it returns false so we are going to keep this method in the while loop so it checks whether the input is present in the next line if there is no input present then it returns false so we will come out of the while loop so whenever it returns true we will enter into this while loop so in every iteration we are going to accept the input string so i am setting string str is equal to sc dot next line and now we have to increment the row so that is how we were doing in the c program also so after incrementing the row we have to perform and operation with the integer 1 and we should check whether it returns 1 or not so i am again performing the same thing if row count and 1 equal to equal to 1 then we will enter into the if block else we will move into the else block so in the c program within the if block we were just concatenating the str into words and finally we were printing it so instead of concatenum we can directly print it in our output so anyway we will get our output similarly so here we can just use the system.out.print and print the string str so all the string values will be printed and in the else block we were using the atai function to convert the character into an integer so in java we have integer.parsent so using that we can convert the string str into an integer so after converting it into an integer we have to add the integer value with the sum variable so we have to perform that operation within the else block so using integer.parse int we can convert the string str into a string and then we have to add that value with the sum variable so this is how we will be executing and after the execution of this while loop the string values will be printed now our task is only to print the sum so using the system.out.printf in a new line we are going to print the sum so this java program works similar to the given c program so this is the logic to solve today's daily challenge thank you for watching